Introduction Sharmila, in a few words, define a plant. Yes, any member of the kingdom plantae, comprising multicellular organisms, and produces their own food by the process of photosynthesis. Sharmila, now tell me what makes plants different from other organisms? Yes, plants are multicellular, terrestrial, non-mobile, photosynthetic and autotrophic. Some plants are aquatic, usually marine, as red, brown and green algae. Yes, some of them are terrestrial or land plants. Land plants are further divided into following divisions. Thallophyta, Bryophyta, Tracheophyta. Objectives At the end of this lesson, you'll be able to Define what plants are, find out various types of plants, understand various systems of classification, find out various groups in plant kingdom, study main characters of algae, study main characters of bryophytes, identify main characters of pteridophytes. Artificial System of Classification Whittaker in 1969 classified living organisms under five kingdoms. Example, Mundra, Protista, Fungi, Animalia and Plantae. Kingdom Plantae is popularly known as Plant Kingdom. This kingdom has organisms that are multicellular, have cell walls and chlorophyll, produce their own food, and do not physically move from one place to another. Fungi and members of Kingdom Monora and Protista having cell walls are now not included in Kingdom Plantae. Kingdom Plantae includes algae, bryophytes, pteridophytes, gymnosperms and angiosperms. The artificial systems of classification used only gross superficial morphological characters such as habit, color, number and shape of leaves, etc. Natural System of Classification Natural System of Classification were based on natural affinities among the organisms and consider both external and internal features like ultrastructure, anatomy, embryology, and phytochemistry. George Bentham and Joseph Dalton Hooker gave natural system of classification for flowering plants. Phylogenetic system of classification. Phylogenetic system of classification is based on revolutionary relationships between the various organisms are acceptable. According to this system, Organisms belonging to the same taxa have a common ancestor. Algae Algae are chlorophyll-bearing, simple, thalloid, autotrophic and largely aquatic both freshwater and marine organisms. They are found in a variety of other habitats as well. Example, moist stones, soils and wood. Some of algae also occur in association with fungi, lichen and animals. The form and size of algae is highly variable. A few of the marine forms such as kelps, about 60 to 100 meters, form massive plant bodies. The size of algae ranges from the microscopic unicellular forms like Chlamydomonas to colonial forms like Volvox, and to the filamentous forms like Eulothrix and Spirogyra. Reproduction in algae is by vegetative, asexual and sexual methods. Vegetative reproduction takes place by fragmentation. Each fragment develops into a thallus. Asexual reproduction is by the production of different types of spores. The most common being the zoospores. Zoospores are flagellated, motile, and on germination gives rise to new plants. 
Sexual reproduction in algae takes place through fusion of two gametes. These gametes can be flagellated and similar in size. Example, Chlamydomonas or non-flagellated but similar in size. Example, Spirogyra. Such reproduction is called isogamous. Fusion of two gametes dissimilar in size as in some species of Chlamydomonas is termed as anisogamous. Fusion between one large non-motile static female gamete and a smaller motile male gamete is termed oogamous. Example, Volvox fucus. Algae are very useful to man in many ways. About a half of the total carbon dioxide fixation on earth is carried out by algae through photosynthesis. Being photosynthetic, algae increase the level of dissolved oxygen in their immediate environment. Algae are of paramount importance as primary producers of energy-rich compounds which form the basis of the food cycles of all aquatic animals. Among the 70 species of marine algae, many species of porphyra, laminaria and sargassum are used as food. Certain marine brown and red algae produce large amounts of hydrocolloids, water-holding substances, that is, algin, brown algae, and carrageen, red algae, are used commercially. Agar is obtained from Gallidium and Glacillaria are used to grow microbes and in preparations of ice creams and jellies. Chlorella and spirulina are unicellular algae rich in proteins and are used as food supplements even by space travelers. Chlorophyce The algae are divided into three main classes Chlorophyce, Phaophyce, and Rhodophyce. The Chlorophyce is commonly called green algae. Their plant body may be unicellular, colonial, or filamentous. They are usually grass green due to the dominance of pigments chlorophyll A and B. These pigments are localized in definite chloroplasts. The chloroplasts may be discoid, plate like, reticulate, cup shaped, spiral, or ribbon shaped in different species. Most of the members of Chlorophyce have one or more storage bodies called pyranoids located in the chloroplasts. Pyranoids contain protein besides starch. Some algae may store food in the form of oil droplets. Green algae usually have a rigid cell wall made of an inner layer of cellulose and an outer layer of pectose. Some commonly found green algae are Camelodomonas, Volvox, Eulothrix, Spirogyra, and Cara. Phaophyce. The members of Phaophyce or brown algae are found primarily in marine habitats. They show great variation in size and form. They range from simple branched filamentous forms, example ectocarpus, to profusely branched forms, example kelps, which may reach a height of 100 meters. They possess chlorophyll, A, C, carotenoids, and xanthophylls. They vary in color from olive green to various shades of brown depending upon the amount of xanthophyll pigment, fucoxanthin present in them. Food is stored as complex carbohydrates which may be in the form of laminarin or mannitol. The vegetative cells have a cellulosic wall usually covered on the outside by a gelatinous coating of algin. The plant body is usually attached to the substratum by a holdfast and has a stalk, the stipe and leaf-like photosynthetic organ, the frond. The common forms are ectocarpus, dictyota, Laminaria, Sargassum, and Fucus. 
Rhodophyceae. Rhodophyta are commonly called red algae because of the predominance of red pigment or phycoerythrin in their body. Majority of red algae are marine with greater concentrations found in the warmer areas. Some of them have complex body organization. They occur in both well-lighted regions close to the surface of water and also at great depths in oceans where relatively little light penetrates. The red thalli of most of the red algae are multicellular. The food is stored as floridin starch, which is very similar to amylopectin and glycogen in structure. The common members are polysiphonia, porphyra, glacilaria and gallidium. Bryophytes Bryophytes are also called amphibians of the plant kingdom because these plants can live in soil but are dependent on water for sexual reproduction. Bryophytes include the various mosses and liverworts that are found commonly growing in moist shaded areas in the hills. Bryophytes usually occur in damp, humid and shaded localities. Bryophytes play an important role in plant succession on bare rocks or soil. The plant body of bryophytes is thallus-like and prostrate or erect and attached to the substratum by unicellular or multicellular rhizoids. Bryophytes lack two roots, stem or leaves. They may possess root-like, leaf-like or stem-like structures. The main plant body of the bryophyte is haploid. It produces gametes, hence is called a gametophyte. The sex organs in bryophytes are multicellular. The male sex organ is called antheritium. They produce biflagellate antherozoids. The female sex organ called archegonium is flask-shaped and produces a single egg. The antherozoids are released into water where they come in contact with archegonium. An antherozoid fuses with the egg to produce the zygote. Zygotes do not undergo reduction division immediately. The sporophyte is not free-living but attached to the photosynthetic gametophyte and derives nourishment from it. Some cells of the sporophyte undergo reduction division, meiosis, to produce haploid spores. These spores germinate to produce gametophyte. A species of sphagnum, a moss, provide peat that have long been used as fuel and because of their capacity to hold water as packing material for transshipment of living material. Liverworts the bryophytes are divided into liverworts and mosses. The liverworts grow usually in moist, shady habitats such as banks of streams, marshy ground, damp soil, bark of trees and deep in the woods. It forms slippery layer of green cells on the ground. The liverworts are small, simple, non-vascular plants that do not have roots, stems or leaves. The plant body of a liverwort is thalloid, example, marcantia. The thallus is dorsiventral and closely oppressed to the substrate. The leafy members have tiny leaf-like appendages in two rows on the stem-like structures. Mosses Moss is a small, simple, non-vascular plant that has both stems and leaves but no roots. The mosses are considered non-vascular and are grouped with liverworts because their vascular tissue is very simple. Both of them have similar life cycle. Mosses along with lichens are the first organisms to colonize rocks and hence are of great ecological importance. They decompose rocks making the substrate suitable for the growth of higher plants. Since mosses form dense mats on the soil, 
They reduce the impact of falling rain and prevent soil erosion. Common examples of mosses are Phanaria, Polytrichum and Sphagnum. Moss is used as food for animals, that is, snails and worms eat moss. They help to hold soil in place to keep it from washing away. Some mosses live on rocks and break them down to mud. Peat moss is added to soil to increase the amount of water it holds. Pteridophytes The pteridophytes include horsetails and ferns. Pteridophytes are used for medicinal purposes and as soil binders. They are also frequently grown as ornamentals. Evolutionarily, they are the first terrestrial plants to possess vascular tissues, xylem and phloem. The pteridophytes are usually found in cool, damp, shady places, though some may flourish well in sandy soil conditions. The main plant body in pteridophytes is a sporophyte which is differentiated into true root, stem and leaves. Sporophytes possess well differentiated vascular tissues. The leaves in pteridophytes are small, microphylls as in selenginella or large macrophylls as in ferns. The sporophytes bear sporangia that are subtended by leaf-like appendages called sporophylls. In some cases, sporophylls may form distinct compact structures called strobili or cones, selaginella, equisetum. Spores are reproductive cell of non-vascular plants. The fern plant has rows of little black dots on the back of the leaves. These little dots are not harmful. They hold millions of tiny reproductive cells called spores. The sporangia produce spores by meiosis in spore mother cells. The spores germinate to give rise to inconspicuous, small but multicellular, free-living, mostly photosynthetic thalloid gametophytes called prothallus. These gametophytes require cool, damp, shady places to grow. The gametophytes bear male and female sex organs called antherida and archegonia, respectively. Water is required for transfer of antherozoids. The male gametes release from the antherida to the mouth of archegonium. Fusion of male gamete with the egg present in the archegonium result in the formation of zygote. Zygote thereafter produces a multicellular well-differentiated sporophyte which is the dominant phase of the pteridophytes. In majority of the pteridophytes, all the spores are of similar kinds. Such plants are called homosporous. Genera like Salaginella and Salvinia which produce two kinds of spores, macro and microspores are known as heterosporous. The pteridophytes are further classified into four classes. Silopsida, Siloptum, Lycopsida, Selaginella, Lycopodium, Sphenopsida, Equisetum, Teropsida, Diropteris, Teris, Ediantum. Did you know the term bryophyta was coined by Robert Braun in 1684? Professor S. R. Kashyap is also known as father of bryology in India. Polytrichum is commonly called haircap moss. Twisted moss is tortula. Sphagnum is also known as bog moss. Phanaria is commonly called as cord moss. Pteridophytes are also called botanical snakes. Ernst Haeckel coined the term pteridophyta. Summary Let us summarize what we have learned. Plant kingdom includes algae, bryophytes, pteridophytes, gymnosperms and angiosperms.
algae are chlorophyll bearing, simple, thalloid, autotrophic, and largely aquatic organisms. Depending on the type of pigment possessed and the type of stored food, algae are classified into three classes, namely chlorophyce, phaophyce, and rhodophyce. Bryophytes are plants which can live in soil but are dependent on water for sexual reproduction. The main plant body of a bryophyte is gamete producing and is called gametophyte. In teratophytes, the main plant is sporophyte which is differentiated into true root, stem and leaves. These organs possess well differentiated vascular tissues. The sporophytes bear sporangia which produce spores. The spores germinate to form gametophytes and require cool, damp places to grow.